This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to do a video using the Brooklyn theme and it's for drop down menus, navigation menus, and nested navigation menus. So uh, you can see I have one drop down at the top here and then it's got a straight drop down but it's also got nested navigation or pop out menus that come out as well. So I'm going to show you how to structure that in the admin and a few other things uh, within the theme that will change the way the theme displays. Uh, I've borrowed some product and content from tiramisu.com to create this demo store today. So uh, if you want to check out tiramisu.com, you can check that out. This is where all the product that I use on the demo store comes from. So anyway, let's go over to the admin, take a look at our navigation menu. So if you go to, just to show you, if you go to the admin, the online store right here, which is below sales channels, and you click on online store, that's where your navigation is going to be. So under navigation, you've got your main menu, which is uh, generally what will display by default uh, at the top of your page. So normally this would have home, it would have catalog, about us, and blog, probably on your main menu. And you can add more menu items. I've already modified this menu, but you can switch menus on the Brooklyn theme as well. So what I'm going to do is just create a new menu called Main Menu 1 uh, from scratch and swap it out with this one just so we can see how to build a menu. Well, first I'm going to create the menu. So I'm just going to go back to the navigation and uh, I'm going to add a menu. and I'll just call this Main Menu 2. And let's go ahead and just put some items on this. I'm going to put the home page on there and I'm going to put a jewelry category on here. And then we'll just put the blog on here. And then we'll put the about on about us. Okay, and then you just want to save your menu after you've created the menu. So now I'm going to connect this menu instead. So this will be a straight across menu or a horizontal menu going across the top. But I'm going to switch it out on the theme. So I'm going to go to the theme real quick and go to customize. And I'm just going to go over to header and that's where the menu is in the Brooklyn theme and I'm going to change this from the main menu to the main menu 2 which is this new menu I've created and select that and save and now you can see over here if you take a look it would be easier to see on the uh, one of the collection pages you can see the menus are just straight across there's no drop downs so in order to make drop downs uh, we would have to go in and we'd have to edit these menus. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. And go to navigation. And let's go to this main menu too, which I'm just using uh, to demonstrate. So let's say we want to add some categories uh, to jewelry to make it a drop down. So let's go and let's add earrings. And let's add necklaces. Of course, I've gone in and created collections already. If you don't have that, uh, you will need to do that. But uh, so I have the earrings and the necklaces. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if I save this, I may have too many categories to show the regular menu. And this will show you uh, when I refresh it, what it does on this theme is it changes the appearance of the theme because you have limited space. So what it does is it turns it into a uh, like a, a mobile menu here. And then if you click it, it's got a sidebar menu and it has all your items over here, but they're in the sidebar. So 
That's what happens when you have too many items. That's why it's good to use submenus and nested navigation menus. So let's go take a look uh, back at the navigation and let's change these into nested navigations. Under, let's make this just a drop down to start. And under jewelry, now we see how we drag those one level over, we'll make those a drop down under jewelry. So whatever uh, item you drag those under, it will become a drop down. So if we save this, and then we look over at our, our page here and refresh it. Now it's a drop down and we, never, we no longer have the same, uh, the same navigation menu on the side and the three bar mobile menu. So this is a straight drop down. But now say we want to change it into nested navigation. We're just going to add some more categories. So let's put some what I call subcategories. You can put anything you want under there. But let's just call it uh, pearl earrings. And let's connect that to a collection. And then let's add uh, so let's put that under earrings and see if it's here it's going to be uh, another menu in the drop down see where the blue circle is and if the blue circle is slightly to the right it's going to be a subcategory under earrings and you can only go three levels deep on Shopify menus so uh, it gets a little bit cumbersome if you try to go more levels than that so Let's go to uh, add one more item. We'll add a sub item under necklaces as well. And we could add multiple uh, items under pearl earrings, for instance. We could have uh, designer earrings, for instance. Let's just do that real quick. And we could just add it right here and we wouldn't have to drag it over. So let's go designer earrings. And do a collection, designer earrings, and we add that. So now we have two categories under here, and let's just put one under another one under necklaces. Then we'll just want to save this menu. And let's just reload this. And now if we go to it, we see that we've got uh, these two items here. And then we had pearl necklaces. I accidentally didn't put it. I put it in the drop down instead of pulling it over under necklaces. Let's just pull that over. So if we just take that item right here and we put it under necklaces here, then it's gonna be a drop down under necklaces. And if we reload that, we'll see that when we go back to the menu, we've got an item now under necklaces and then two items under earrings. So that's all there is to structuring a menu uh, that's a nested navigation menu in the Brooklyn theme. If you want to make, uh, if you wanna make good choices on your themes, I'm going to show you how you can go to the theme store and you can really filter out what is available as far as the features of a theme. Uh, this is one of the few free themes that has uh, nested navigation. Uh, they all have drop down menus available, but this one of the few that has uh, the multi level menus available in the free themes currently. But I think Shopify is adding more features to the menus. Uh, on those by default. But let's just take a quick look at the Shopify theme store. Easy way to get there is just click on your online store and then go down to the bottom and you can go to explore free themes or you can visit the theme store. And this is the best way to pick a theme is click on all themes and then really explore uh, these filter menus for the, uh, the features that you want. And as you uh, say, okay, maybe you only want free themes and you want themes that have some sort of slide out menu or you want some sort of multi-column menu, it will show you what is available. And then what you can do is there's only one like this in the free themes, 
but you can go to the demo and you can really see uh, what is available, what the menus are like. And usually there's two, two or three styles and you can check out each style and see if the menus are different. But you can see this is a really interesting menu. Uh, so you have to see whether it's going to fit the way that you're going to set up your site. Uh, but it's a good way to explore the themes. And you can also uh, just try these themes out, set them up on your store and see what they look like before you publish them as well. Hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, you can find more tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please subscribe or check out uh, my website, pinehurstwebsites.com. Again, I'm Kevin King. Thanks for tuning in.